Exodus, Exile and Redemption. Section 3 Between the Torah and the Prophets Chapter 7 The Impossibility of Knowledge The ideal of knowing Hashem, so often championed in the Prophets, is notably absent from the Torah, which does not advocate for knowledge of Hashem. To understand why, we turn to a pivotal moment when Moshe requested to know Hashem, but was ultimately denied. Quote, Moshe said to Hashem, Let me know your ways that I may know you. Exodus 33.13 Moshe requested to know Hashem's ways and thereby know Him. Hashem is known through His ways, through all of creation and existence itself. The one who understands the moral quality of the universe gains familiarity with Hashem's character. Essentially, Moshe's request was to understand the deeper rationale for all that occurs in the world. Many events in life appear just, yet many do not. Good things happen to good people, but so do bad things. Wicked people often suffer, but they also frequently prosper. Moshe sought to understand the sense of it all, asking, in the words of the sages, why is there a tzaddik that prospers and a tzaddik that suffers? A wicked person who prospers and a wicked person who suffers. Talmud, Brachos 7a. As part of his quest, Moshe further asked to see Hashem's glory, that is, to gain through perfect understanding of his ways, intimate familiarity with Hashem. Quote, Moshe said, Please show me your glory. Exodus 33, 18. However, the request to know Hashem face to face was ultimately denied. Quote, And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before you, and will proclaim before you my name Hashem, and I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious, and will show mercy to whom I will show mercy. But, he said, you cannot see my face, for no man shall see me and live, etc. You shall see my back, but my face shall not be seen. Ibid 19 through 23. Perfect knowledge was withheld from Moshe. He was granted a vision of Hashem's back, but not his face, together with knowledge of his merciful and gracious ways, but with a certain unresolved arbitrariness. I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious, and will show mercy to whom I will show mercy. As the sages say further regarding Moshe's unanswered request to understand why the righteous suffer and the wicked prosper, quote, One request was not granted to him. As it is said, I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious, even though he is not worthy, and I will show mercy to whom I will show mercy, even though he is not worthy. Talmud Brachos 7a The intricacies of this partial theophany, where Moshe was shown only a glimpse, rather than the full face of divine understanding, will be explored more fully further in this work. For now, we note this. The Torah never exhorts us to know Hashem simply because, from Moshe's perspective, this was deemed impossible. For no man shall see me and live. (laughs) 